Now they're marching across the city. Welcome to Coin 6 News at Noon. I'm Ken Boddy. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Hundreds of students from around the city have walked out of school protesting Donald Trump's election as president. They started with a rally at Pioneer Courthouse Square and then they marched to City Hall and across the Hawthorne Bridge. Trevor Alt is live with where they are now. Trevor? This is what democracy looks like. Well, this has been uh, now a march of well over a mile that when I joined it was happening at Portland City Hall. There are hundreds of Portland Public School students here from Benson, Cleveland, Madison, uh, Wilson. All of these schools have gathered together and they've been marching for well over a mile. Now, right now, we're at the intersection of 7th and Oak, and there does appear to be a crowd gathering of what has been so far, a peaceful protest. In fact, at one point, a man came up and shouted at this crowd and said, you're being sore losers, you're protesting democracy, and they responded by chanting, peaceful protest. Now, they've had a number of different messages as they've marched through the Portland streets. Again, while they have definitely shut down some streets, there's been some police closing off some intersection, but as a whole, they've mainly been allowed to do as they please. They marched all the way to 7th, then up north, went back at Morrison. Now they're again up at 7th and Oak. We've heard a number of different chants. We've ever heard uh, my body, my choice, things about LGBTQ rights. Right now they're talking about no Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. Now we don't know how long this is going to go. Again, this is more than five different high schools who have all hopped out of class. This protest, as I'm told, began at Pioneer Courthouse Square, and now it's still marching on. We don't know what the end target is for where this will stop, but for now it's showing no signs of stopping. So we'll send it back to you guys in the studio, and we'll keep out here live with this protest with any updates. All right. Thanks, Trevor. Looks like it might be going on for a while. Mm -hmm. We want to go now to Emily Sinovic, live in downtown Portland, with a look at how this rally began. Emily? Yeah, just about an hour ago, we were out here at Pioneer Courthouse Square, and this entire plaza was really filled with hundreds of students. We're talking about students from Beaumont, Irvington, MLC, Tabor, Sunnyside, Hosford, Cleveland, Wilson, Benson, Franklin, just to name a few. That's what PPS could confirm just a few minutes ago, but there could be more that we add to that list. Take a look at the video of what we shot just a few minutes ago before they started marching when they first gathered here at Pioneer Courthouse Square. You had people speaking on the loudspeaker. Again, hundreds of people. They had different signs. Some were talking about minority rights, some talking about immigration rights, some fearful that they could be deported, some talking about a woman's right to choose. Again, students, none of them who had the opportunity to vote or could legally vote, but say they want to make sure that their rights aren't taken away in the future. Now, as far as was this condoned by schools or parents, I can tell you that I was talking to a couple students, a couple freshman girls who were waiting outside of City Hall. They didn't end up marching, but they told me they were getting home, their dad was picking them up. And apparently their parents told them, hey, no problem. You want to go to school? Okay. If you want to protest, that's just fine with us too. So it'll be interesting to see how long they go as far as where they're going. They didn't really have a lot of direction. You just heard people saying, well, let's march. Why not? We'll keep you posted. Reporting live, I'm Emily Sinovic, Coin 6 News. Yeah, lots of activity on the streets of Portland over the past few days. Thanks, Emily. Mm -hmm. Well, happening today, some of the protesters arrested in the last few days at Trump protests will be in court. Now, on Saturday night alone, 71 people were arrested in the protest. In total, since Election Day, 113 people have been arrested. No one was arrested last night. The protesters are facing a range of charges, from interfering with police to disorderly conduct. You can go to coin.com for a full list of the people arrested. Meantime, Donald Trump says people protesting against him are likely professional.